I want to welcome you out today and thank you for giving me some of your time to talk with the ISV community. Yeah, no problem. I love the ISVs. Thanks for, thanks for coming out. So just to get started and let the ISV crowd know where you're from, uh, could you give me a quick summary of your background and what you do for Microsoft? Yeah, uh, so I'm the group program manager for the .NET Framework team, uh, so responsible for a lot of the features that go into the overall develop platform. And, uh, and kind of my background, I, I sort of grew up at Microsoft on the CLR team. I, I was fortunate enough to join that team right as we were uh, forming it uh, many, many seven plus years ago. Um, and so it was, uh, it, was, it was good to get in there and see the technology grow. Um, and then uh, recently I moved over to this job where I'm kind of more focused on the overall framework and uh, specifically with ASP.NET and our ASP AJAX work uh, that we're, we're RTMing very, very soon and the uh, 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 wind forms and some future client work that we're also working on. So you don't just work on AJAX then? Yeah, it's not just, it's not just AJAX. Um, I think we're getting a lot of buzz with the, with the AJAX stuff, uh, but uh, with the uh, Orcus release of Visual Studio, we're, we're going to be doing some cool stuff uh, that helps both WinForms and WPF on the client. Um, okay. One of the things I've heard with the client side that comes up a lot is client apps are very difficult to do offline, and we're going to make it much easier to have offline uh, to work. We're um, kind of putting these two teams together. Another feature is that the application level services, profile roles, authentication that were popular with ASP.NET 2.0, we're kind of unlocking the value of those by exposing them as web services. Okay. Uh, and then consuming them, we have a client side library that helps you consume those. So now your client apps can share that same kind of, those same roles, that same profile information. And we found that to be really What is AJAX from Microsoft perspective? Uh, so AJAX is a set of industry standard techniques for building uh, integrated web applications. So uh, at, at its fundamental core, it's a set of, uh, uh, features that are popular in, in a wide variety of browsers, uh, Internet Explorer, Firefox, other, other browsers, that makes web applications be much more interactive and much uh, it's sort of kind of uh, easier to build differentiated experiences with them. Kind of at, at its core, AJAX includes uh, things like um, asynchronous communication to the server without doing these full page refreshes uh, that had, get that blinking effect right. that web pages get a lot. Um, and the JavaScript programming language that interacts with the DOM to, to do ri more rich client-side uh, processing. So if I'm an ISV and I'm thinking about AJAX, you know, what's the future of AJAX and why would I commit to AJAX in my ASP.NET code? Um, well, I think AJAX has a, good, has a good future to it because it's built on these industry standards that are, that are ubiquitous, that are already um, kind of broadly deployed. Um, we're seeing that customers are demanding from Microsoft sites and applications as well as I imagine from third parties as well uh, more of those rich kind of client-side interaction pieces okay. um, and 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 so I, I think the what, what I would do if I were ISV that had some web properties is is think about how the the user interface uh, of that web property needs to change and, and, and grow. Like, what are, what are the set of demands that, that customers are having there? Right. And then... Can you it, delineate that a little bit? Because Microsoft puts out about five different user interface technologies that someone yeah. could choose from. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, I think there's, there's a, a, a good set of ISVs that are delivering on top of uh, ASP.NET today. They're, they're on ASP 1.1 or, or ASP.NET 2.0 um, and are delivering great solutions there. Um, and I think what we're seeing um, is for the Microsoft sites that are do that, like if you think about SharePoint, for example, it, it basically sits on top of ASP.NET 2.0. I just talked to the SharePoint team recently, and they're feeling like in their next rev, they need to adopt more AJAX-style technology to avoid the page refresh, to have um, maybe kind of different load characteristics on the server, have more interaction on the client, can add to list management, and things like that. And I think the thing that, that ISV should go think about is how can you move to that AJAX world in, a, in an incremental kind of way. What, what you don't want to have to do is rewrite the entire UI tier of your application that, that, right. to adopt AJAX. I would think that's, um, I would move very uh, cautiously down that path. Uh, I, with the, it's one of the reasons I'm very excited about AS, our ASP AJAX release that we RTM in literally a matter of days here. Uh, and that it's very easy if you're ASP.NET at 2.0 shop, it is super easy to go in and, and make incremental changes to your server side uh, code to give it that interactive experience without having to go write reams and reams of client side JavaScript code. 
Okay. Um, Talking web client, you know, and getting back to like installation issues, why yeah, I'm yeah. choosing a web client in the first place. You know, what are some of the trade offs and, and why would I stick with ASP.NET technology and AJAX moving forward? Or why, yeah. would, I, or why would I make that choice now? Yeah, so, yeah. Well, I think, I, I, I think that we are seeing the, the set of capabilities of the web increase. If you think about it from static text that we had like five plus years ago to forms to uh, more interactive uh, web applications that are now common today, things like Salesforce.com. It, it is um, kind of an evolution of, of, of richer interactivity that you're able to, to get on the, on the web. And so that does, you know, as, as the web grows, e each one of those steps, it does make many customers think about, well, when should you use a client app and when should you, you kind of use one of these technologies? And largely, I think that that there's a blurring that, that's happening and that you're seeing more web applications that actually take advantage of the client, that, that more web applications that can also um, take advantage of features of like the Windows Vista sidebar or right. integrate with Office. Um, but, but I think the, the kind of big differentiators right now is if your app has to work offline, there's not a super reliable offline story. So you imagine the sales you have a, a sales guy, he's got to be at a client um, and be able to access the sales database and, and um, look up cat, product catalog kind of information. That kind of app uh, is, is much better done uh, client side. Okay. If you're doing rich graphics rendering, fully taking advantage of the, of the GPU on the machine, things like CAD CAM sort of systems, those things, um, video editing, which uh, I'm sure you'll be doing on this piece, uh, it, those are much better uh, to be to be client side apps. But if you're doing things like forms based data entry uh, or uh, kind of visualization of data, lots of that can be done with the web. Okay. Let's talk about security. How's yep. the Ajax security model work? Um, that's, a good, that's a good question. One thing I really like about the Ajax security model is that all Ajax code is, is JavaScript code that runs in a sandbox. So the JavaScript code that, re that Microsoft writes in our JavaScript framework, it's all sandbox code. That means that you, because of a programming bug in the JavaScript, you can't open up some, some security um, exploit. Um, so the, largely the security model for AJAX, for ASP AJAX, is, is identical to what it is with, with ASP.NET 2.0, the security model that's that's the way to today. think about the security is um, what are the new what are the new ways via the web services you might expose to adopt AJAX? What are the new vectors that, that people can come into play? Um, I do think there are some cases where there are programming mistakes that can come into play. Um, I've seen people validate the data only on the client side, only in JavaScript, and and of course you need to make sure you're validating the data on the server side and uh, as well as additionally on the client side if you need to. Um, so I, I guess I don't think there's any brand new sort of exploits necessarily right. for AJAX. Um, okay. What about browser support? Uh, as far in multiple browser support. Yeah. So we get this a lot, and people ask like, why is Microsoft doing AJAX? Or, oh, you know, I, I, I gave a talk when I was like, oh, a, a, AJAX that only works with IE, right? You know, ASP AJAX only works with IE, and of course not. Like we are with with the ASP.NET um, family of products. Uh, we are we are absolutely about a broad reach support. So we do testing every day with uh, Safari, Firefox on the Mac, on Windows, as well as uh, uh, many flavors of, of IE. So basically, we're targeting what is the 99% uh, ubiquity in order to to kind of find our testing matrix. So as far as what clients have to have for, for you to be able to use ASP Ajax, it's it's very little. Okay. Um. Let's wrap this up. What's okay. the core values that the ASP.NET and AJAX to combine bring to ISVs? Well, I, I think the, the, the core differentiator we have is the one that I think uh, Microsoft has had for a long time, and that is what is our developer productivity? How are we making it easier for developers and now designers to work well together to, to build an application? Um, if you, is it possible to build applications and other technologies 
sure if you're willing to, to pay enough to get specialized resources. But what we get with ASP Ajax is every one of your ASP developers you have in your shop today is now an Ajax developer. They didn't have to learn anything, they didn't have to go to any classes or read any books. They can just out of the box take advantage of a huge set of Ajax functionality based on their existing knowledge of VB.NET or C Sharp and ASP.NET. Excellent. What's your favorite band? What is my favorite band? I, you know, I still love you too. I, you know, yeah. I, I can't get out of that. Excellent. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Yep. Yeah. yeah, thank you.